That doesn't make me a bad person. It doesn't make me greedy, but it's true. When I was 13 years old, my grandma gave me a birthday present, except this present didn't come in a box. She handed me a piece of paper, and it was the receipt for my very own $100 Apple stock. So what? I didn't understand what this meant and pretty much thought it was a dumb gift. I mean, what kind of 13-year-old wants a stock? I would have been much happier with some makeup or a shirt or something. But little did I know, that stock was about to change my life. It sparked an interest in something I knew very little about. My first thought was to sell my share and buy something I wanted. But my dad made me hold on to it, and today that stock is worth over $300. This may not sound like a big difference, but it has tripled in value. Our world is changing. As technology continues to become more advanced, the opportunity to get wage jobs is decreasing. According to a recent CNN article, machines could take over 20 million manufacturing jobs by the year 2030. In the next decade, it'll be much more difficult to earn active income, so we should be taking advantage of passive income. There are plenty of ways to benefit from passive income, other than investing. For example, social media revenue. According to USA Today, Influencers with up to 1 million followers can get up to $10,000 per post, with income constantly accumulating. I invested in Apple when I was 13, and in three years, it tripled its value. My one became three, three can become nine, nine can become 27, and so on. Starting to invest and save money young allows money to compound. The power of compounding is a gift that can only be appreciated with time. And there's no better time than now, when you are young, the problem is we all seek instant gratification. This cancels out the benefit of compounding because people aren't willing to wait. Now, it's hard to resist the temptation of spending. I, for one, absolutely get that. You know, why save for the future when you can buy that shirt or those glasses right now? There's a famous marshmallow experiment created by Stanford professor Walter Michel. A kid is given a marshmallow and told that if they can wait 15 minutes without eating it, they'll receive another one. It's a simple concept. One treat now or two treats later? Are you the kid who will eat the marshmallow the second it's given to them? Are you going to try and fight it but eventually give in to temptation? Or are you going to be the patient kid who walks out with two? Our society does not want to wait for delayed gratification. You know, seeing is believing, and it's difficult to wait that extra 15 minutes when there's already one marshmallow right in front of you. Except the professor checked back on the children years later and found that those who were willing to wait ended up having higher SAT scores, better responses to stress, lower levels of substance abuse, and so on. Not spending every dollar and creating good saving habits now will make a big difference in your future. We're all trained to think that this instant gratification is normal. We live in a consumer environment where you're compelled to buy. Even Amazon trains us to get any item we want at the click of a button. But this getting it now mentality and poor spending habits are part of the reason that debt is such an overwhelming problem in the world. There are so many different kinds of debt, between mortgage debt, college payments, credit card loans, medical debts. According to CNBC, over half of Americans who have credit cards are in debt. Now, I'm aware that for everyone, saving money is not a possibility. But there are ways to be cognizant and avoid falling victim to debt at such a young age. For many of us, living with our parents gives us the advantage of not having to worry about paying rent or utilities or taxes. So if you don't receive an allowance, you can save whatever you do have. You don't need to be an adult or actively working. Any one of you can do it. You know, take that tooth fairy money or extra money from that school trip and hold on to it. My $100 Apple stock has increased by 300%. By simply leaving your money in your wallet or hidden in a drawer, you're making a 0% interest return. If anything, it's actually depreciating in value. But by investing it, you at least give yourself the opportunity to make money and earn real passive income. Now, we've all seen those absurd clickbaits on how to make money fast, like this one, and this one, and this one almost got me. I think a lot of you have seen this so many times, but if you did any of these, you would be miserable. You see, I'm not offering you another get-rich-fast scheme. I'm telling you to think long-term. Save your money now and either allow it to compound through the years or at least avoid falling victim to debt. Now, there are three things, three important things that I want you to remember. 
Number one is being okay with delayed gratification and enabling yourself to save money. Number two is avoiding debt through good saving habits. And number three is benefiting from passive income and the power of compounding. And do all of this now, while you are young. Now, I want to get back to grandma's gift, the gift that keeps on giving. My grandma is part of the post-war generation that experienced poverty, so she understands firsthand the importance of saving. But you might be like my 13-year-old self. You might look at stocks and investing and think, it isn't worth it or too much work. Hey, you might be that marshmallow kid who seeks instant gratification. Except my grandma wasn't teaching me to only invest in stocks or benefit from the power of compounding. She was teaching me to invest in my future. Thank you.